Hey, this is Matt once again. What about to the video that the paid request this time from Gia? It's a topic. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting pretty much any type of videos, topics, reactions, commentaries, reviews, re reviews, what have you, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. Now, uh, he wanted me to compare villains to two of two Paul Verhoeven films Total Recall and Robocop, and which I prefer. And I love Total Recall and Robocop. It's hard for me to pick which film I like more. Um, I mean, my first instance is Robocop. Then it's like, oh man, but I really like Total Recall. It's hard to pick. It's two great choices. Very hard for me to pick, but villains wise, I would say Robocop. Now, I like the villains in Total Recall. Michael Ironside does a great job as Richter. See you at the party, Richter. Ronnie Cox. Funny enough, in both films, here's Cohagen. The blasts be back home for cornflakes. <laughs> I would say Ronnie Cox does. is more fun as a villain in Total Recall than in Robocop. Because he did, he's able to say lines like that. Because the whole bit where he's able to play off against Arnold Schwarzenegger about how, you know, you were my buddy and here's the proof of it. So Ryan Cox is a bit more of a smirk on his face, a bit more to play with as a villain. So if you ask me which Ronnie Cox I like more, he does a good job World Cup. I would say Cole Hayden, he, like a, he has a little bit more fun to do. But I would say Robocop is the better villains because of Clarence Boddicker and his game. Yeah, Kerwood Smith as Clarence Boddicker. You got uh, Paul McCrane as Emil. Ray Wise as Leon. There are a few others in the game. And the way they work together, the way they interact with each other, just how evil these guys are and how much they enjoy being evil. Uh, like how they completely kill and annihilate Peter Weller's character with joy on their face. And they're laughing and joking. And they're blowing up his hand and they shoot him in the head. Uh, and Clarence Boddicker. Like, come on now. You know, from Bitches Leave to Did You Fly, Bobby? He's just having a ball. He's just such a memorable, evil son of a bitch. From, you know, fucking up Miguel Ferrer's, his legs and stuff, and getting that grenade and sending it down to... Even when talking to the cops and he spits the blood, give me my fucking phone call. <laughs> and then you got, like, Paul McCrane as Emil, we killed you. And you have that... Wonderful death scene where he turns to the Tatsid Avenger and blows up from getting hit by the van. Uh, Ray Wise is a good actor. Nice to see him in there. He would go on to be in a variety of other movies. He was in Swamp Thing before this, the first Swamp Thing. And in that game, those big ass weapons just blowing up the whole neighborhood. Uh, I forget the, the actor's name. But, you know, the way he plays off against Ann Lewis, and they have their little back and forth. And that guy, I remember having, like, an infectious laughter. So definitely Clarence Bodger and his Dane really, I, I think, has to be the win for this one. Just like I said, while I do like Michael Ironside, there's not a lot of room for him to get to really... He's great as the villain, but there's not a lot of time for fun. He's very, very serious. He's on the case chasing after. And the thing is, like, they don't spend a whole lot with the villains in Total Recall. I'm not saying they spend no time, but it's mainly Arnold on the run and his journey. Either Rachel Tikatin. I mean, I guess you would say Sharon Stone is a villain as well, to be fair. That's another villain in Total Recall. You say she's having a bit of fun with the role. 
But again, she doesn't get to appear too much, just the, the bit where she's attacking Arnold. And then, consider this a divorce. <laughs> But it seemed like the Dane in Robocop had a bit more fun to play with, a bit more joy of being villainous. You did see a bit more. I did like the scene where they get the big guns and just blowing the shit out of the neighborhood, stuff of that nature. Or again, Clemens Bader just the being just joyful in his evilness. Can you fly, Bobby? Michael Ironside didn't get a whole lot to play. He's good, but he didn't get a lot of those type of moments in Total Recall. But Michael Ironside, I love in the movie. I love him as an actor. <laughs> I just really like the more thing about Total Recall. Like, there's some that are villains that... You know, because you have even like the mutant that is a turncoat. I got five tis the feed. Benny here. But at the same time, when I think about them, I think of Arnold's reaction to them more than the villains. And the villains are good, but I think of Benny, I think of screw you and you know, fuck you up the guy with the drill. Or kind of Mark Arnold says, see the party with the. Uh, like, the most memorable parts to me is them with the hero. And it's the hero that makes me mem remember them. Like, they're good, but the hero really makes it work. Here, I can remember scenes even when the hero's not involved. I think that makes the villains a bit stronger in Robocop compared to Total Recall. And plus, uh... I think Clarence Barker, like I said, has more memorable lines. Bitches leave. Can you fly, Bobby? Uh, I like Dr. Ironside. I can't remember any lines of dialogue like that stick out from him. Cohagen, yes. The cornflakes line. But it's a good question. I mean, I think they both have good sets of villains, but I would give the, the edge to Robocop because of that. So, with that said, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.